Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Once again, we're shooting more of them tornado slugs from Sterling. However, this time, I have them loaded into 16 gauge. The slug itself is a 67 caliber slug, 670, which is perfect for 16 gauge. These are a foster slug and it is rifled. Kind of hard to see in there, but I'm hopeful that these will do great out of 16 gauge being full bore. We'll be shooting these at 42 yards over a chronograph out of my TriStar, wherever it is. I think it's still in the truck. But the data on these is a brand new Prime Shadot Hall with 26 grains of long shot, a Obturator 16 gas seal, 3 8 inch waxed hard card, 70 thou mini nitro card, and then the Tornado Slug, which weighs one ounce, and roll crimp with a got BN2. Very simple. So here's the TriStar. It no longer has a scope on it, if you've seen what happened in the last video. But we do have a set of True Glow Magnum Gobble Dot sights on it. And I do have the improved cylinder choke in it. 28 inch barrel. Of course, semi automatic. Well, let's see how they do. Guess let's see what happens. Same place the uh, Lyman's were hitting the other day. 1565, 1502. 1541. And 1553. That's all of them. It cycled them all. Oh. I see three holes. They're not... I see all four. Yeah. Group's really bad. I was afraid of that, but I... I honestly thought they might do okay, but I expected the worst. We got pretty much the worst. They did fare a whole lot better out of this than they did out of 12 gauge, though. I will give it that. The slug itself is just a bad design. It's yeah. not accurate by design. Right. Unfortunately. All the holes look fine, though. Yeah. Bring it up just a hair. There you go. Yep, all the holes look just fine. They're just, just not, it's yeah. just not accurate slug. Junk slug. Let's go look at it. Yes. Junk slug. We'll shoot the last at like 10 yards to see how they would do at home defense distance. Just because, why not? Alrighty guys, I've challenged him. Got one shot, try to hit that plate out there. I ain't going to bother zooming in on it, but. You'll see the darter hear it if he hits it. And if not, it really don't matter. Oh, like four foot high. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, guys, two of these are sideways. They hit sideways, believe it or not. These slugs are not nose heavy, by the way. I think I recorded a segment at my dresser, my reloading bench, showing the design of these slugs. They're not nose heavy. They're very, very thin, like the walls are paper thin. Here's the bench segment. Yep, here's the slug. It looks pretty cool, but unfortunately, as you can see, they are not nose heavy at all. The walls are paper thin, and that just leads to them being inaccurate no matter how you load them. And here's a 16-gauge hull. It's a Rio, if that matters. And as you can see, the slug is a perfect fit inside a 16-gauge hull, being 670 diameter. One hit all the way down here, it is sideways. This one is sideways, and these two right here are flying true, but we have probably a foot and a half group up and down, and probably 10 inches left and right. It's just a bad slug, unfortunately. How well will they do in great succession from, I don't defense. know, say seven yards? Seven or 10 yards, yeah. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Remember, great haste. Safety is on. Like the gun's going to blow up if you do not empty all the shells in it. I'm not even going to bother patching those holes because we can see where they are. We're just doing this all in one clip anyways. Right. All right, guys. There is a piece of masking tape off to the left of point of aim. You probably can't see it, but I can. Let's uh, mag dump this into it and see how they accurate they are. I'll hold it consistently. But... Get in my house! Well, you shot him twice in the head and twice in the gut. 
That's weird. Come here, I'll show you where I was aiming. I actually had an, uh, a spot to aim. And that's why the shots weren't as fast as I wanted them to be, because I was taking my time and actually aiming at this hole behind the paper right here. And I have one here, two here, and down low. No, 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 sir. That top one ain't yours. Is it not? No, you've got one, two, three, four. That's literally how I okay. walked out. Okay. I'm sure most of this is just me because I wasn't taking as much time as I should have. But I was aiming right here the best I possibly could. And it's still terrible. All righty, guys. You ready, Josh? Yeah. You hit it. Very top edge. I don't think I did. It didn't move. I heard metal. I think I hit a piece of paper behind it. That's what I hit. Oh. Still. Wow, wow. I don't know. These are just terrible slugs, in my opinion. If you guys have had good luck out of these slugs, please let us know. And uh, what gun you use to shoot them with. We'll try to replicate it. And if you might want a hat or something, don't be afraid to go check out the merch. Bonfire.com slash the shotgun scientist. It'll bring it up. Links in the description. So, closing thoughts here. These hit all over the place. The yellow circle was point of aim, and the red are points of impact. That's a wide group. Now, these uh, Sterling Tornado slugs are seemingly inaccurate no matter how you load them. I thought they'd be accurate in 16 gauge, being they are full bore slugs for 16 gauge. But on the other hand, I knew that they are not nose heavy. Which is uh, just, it wasn't going to work out no matter what you did. But here's the other group. Again, very poor considering we shot these at 7 yards. Again, yellow is point of aim, red is point of impact. Just terrible. And that's going to conclude the series on the Sterling Tornado Slug, unless you guys have other suggestions. But, thanks for watching guys. It was pretty fun nonetheless.